There is a piglet in Farmyard Symphony who is without question one of the cutest and most underrated Disney characters I have ever seen. Having said that, with regards to Silly Symphonies, this is not one of my favourites. There are some many, many amazing Silly Symphonies that I think are better, but I did thoroughly enjoy this and it really takes the symphony aspect, puts it in the name, and basically the music is created by the animals and I just think it's so much fun. This was released in 1938, directed by Jack Cutting. And the music is by Lee Harline, who's done a lot of the music for Silly Symphonies. Um, there are a lot of very well-known songs in this. We have some Wagner, um, some Verdi, um, some Mendelssohn. Some of the tracks I recognise... The tracks? <laughs> some of the songs I recognised, um, bits of the William Tell Overture. Some of them I wasn't overly familiar with to begin with. So it's introduced me to some very interesting versions of some classic songs that I could definitely go and explore. The music is fantastic. The animation itself is beautiful. This is set on a farm, believe it or not, and basically there's no real narrative. There's this little piglet who's trying to get some food um, and he kind of plays a role in it a little bit, but for the most part it's just all of these animals going about their day, going about their business, and the music that comes with it, and the mu the animals are the source of the music. And it's just this beautifully animated snapshot of life on a farm. A very Disney-fied, fantastical snapshot of life on a farm. But it is lovely. The animals themselves, the illustrations are beautiful. We have a bull that kind of looks like Ferdinand. The illustration is very similar, of course. Um, the rooster is quite different to some other Disney birds but there's also a rooster in another Disney short uh, another silly symphony the name of which escapes me but it's quite similar to that it's quite interesting to see how Disney stick with an animation style for something but then switch to something else is it because somebody in the ink and paint department left and they brought on somebody new is it because they decided to have a change of direction there are so many questions I'd love to ask Walt Disney, if I could sit down with him, you know, that, that would just be, you know, if somebody says, if you could have a conversation with somebody from the past. I don't know if he'd be my first choice, but definitely he'd be high up there. Um, Clarence Nash, uh, Florence Gale and Billy Belter all voice a lot of the characters. For me, the piglet completely stole the show. The piglet is so cute. And I wish Disney did more films with piglets because this animation is so beautiful. As I said, Farmyard Symphony is not my favourite Disney short, not my favourite Disney si silly symphony, but there are a lot of contenders for that. So that's not really saying much, and that's definitely no slight on the short. It's fabulous fun, gorgeous animation, really great music, absolutely worth watching.